My name is Athena Safat. I'm a staff scientist at Oak Ridge National Lab. My current area of research are superconducting materials. As the name suggests, uh, superconducting materials are materials that um, conduct electricity superbly um, without any um, resistance, um, without any energy dissipation, and uh, large amounts of it as well. Here is a piece of a superconducting wire and here is your typical household copper wire. Um, for the same cross-section, a superconducting wire can carry a lot more electricity. Um, for example, at least a thousand times more amps in a superconducting wire compared to a typical copper wire. There would be two potential uses, um, widespread uses, for a superconducting wire. One would be their use as underground transmission lines to um, conduct or carry electricity or um, take power into very congested and uh, populated cities without any energy dissipation or resistance. Another use for them is that you can wind them into coils easily because they're malleable and hence you can produce a very large magnetic field so you would use them in um, motors and generators. Why aren't we using superconducting wires um, widespread now? Um, and the reason is because superconducting materials actually are superconducting way below room temperature. So the cost of cooling the wire way below room temperature using, say, liquid nitrogen or liquid helium would be very um, inefficient. Our area of research involves um, creating the next best superconductor, something that would be superconducting close to room temperature, and that you would be able to make it um, very cheaply. So in that sense, it would be very economical. What we do is that we design um, a um, particular uh, lattice structure, so these spheres would be atoms, um, we worry about the arrangement of the particular atoms, the types of elements that we have in a unit cell. And we, after we try to design this intelligently um, or the best way that we can, we think about how we can make the particular material in a chemistry lab. So we get in the chemistry lab and we make material. So the, for example, this is a piece of a um, iron-based uh, superconducting uh, material, it's a single crystal, and after we make the material, as you see it's shiny and it's uh, grayish, blackish, um, we get in the physics lab and we do a bunch of property measurements on it to deem it good or not. If we think the properties are good enough, then um, we can potentially transform the piece of the material that we have here into uh, a piece of a wire and we study properties further. We can eliminate a lot of um, materials that may not be good enough because we can actually make them. Um, and for me, the way to create the next best superconductor is to be able to control the composition and the crystal structure and to be able to make the particular material that you think um, may be useful. So to me, the chemistry part of it is as important, if not more important, than the physics part of it. Oak Ridge National Lab is a wonderful place to do research if you are passionate to find out um, the wondrous properties of um, materials and why they function a certain way, then this is uh, really the place to be.